Hey, Matt Man's back with another two box nickel hunt. This is going to be hunt number six and boxes eight and nine of my ten box quest to start filling those Jefferson nickel albums. Now the tubes have all of my candidates so far. I got a little want list there. So, besides the obvious Liberty Nickels and Buffalo Nickels and Silver War Nickels, we're going to be looking for DDRs and DDOs and Air Coins and more candidates to fill those albums. So, I'm going to do a live opening on this first box. Make sure we got circulated rolls. And we do. So I'm going to go pull these out of the boxes so I can do an ender check. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, I emptied out that first box. There was nothing on the enders that was of any interest. So I'll open up the first roll live and see what happens. One little interesting one there. Since I'm live, let's just go ahead and check it. And just a beat up large head there. I'm on the fourth roll. And we have a 1948 Philly. This is roll 12. And I came up with a 1946 Philly. Previously, I came across some 50s. This is a 59 Denver Fumble. A 54 Denver. And a 52 Philly. I am back with roll number 26. I found this rather ugly 1940 and I can't barely see it but it's a San Francisco put it on the scope so you can see it there it is now is this a black beauty I've never seen something rust colored like that it could have been stacked with something but it doesn't rub off at all. So let me know what you think about that. So another 1959 Denver. And three Canadians. So I got a 1987. That one's made out of copper nickel. I got a 1904, and it's magnetic, but it can't be nickel, so I'll look into that, and a 1972, 
which is certainly nickel. I'm on roll 28, and I got a 1948 Philly. This is the very next roll, 29. And this time, I got the 1948 Denver. All right, this is roll 34. And this was facing me just like this. That I'd bring in just in case. That's a Denver. Another 1948. This is the 36th roll. And I came up with a 41 Denver. This is the very next roll, 37. And a little variety here, 1947, Philadelphia. Next roll again, 38. And we have another 47 Philly. Like to double them up. This is that same roll. Saw the 47. How about a mint mark this time? Yeah. 47 Denver. And I thought... Uh, 52. Philly. Anything else here good? Right at the end of roll 40. I got a 1941, I haven't seen it yet, Philly. This is roll 47. And I have a 1949 Philly. And previously, I also found a 58 Denver. Another Canadian copper nickel. On the scope, I have what they call a bar air. Variety Vista has a whole book of these. On Variety Vista, here under Jefferson Nichols, on the very bottom, there are Jefferson Nickel Bar Airs. So it's called the Bar Nickel Die Air Book. And then you click on the bar listings, and you see a, a list of dates. And of course, the big one is the one we're dealing with. Now, ours had two bars. So we look in here, one bar, two bars, three bars. We click on the two bars one. And ours is a ER, the two bars over the E and the R. So you click on that, and there are seven of them. And ours is, looks like the first one. They call die break bar over ER of Liberty. I also have what I believe to be a lamination error. It looks like it starts there in the U of United, comes up and really folds over there, and the line keeps going up all the way to the R of Pluribus. So, all you experts out there, let me know if you think that's a lamination error or what that is. I am wrapping up the first box. And these are the finds for those last few rolls. Came up with a 52 Denver. 
and a 59 Denver and one more Canadian that's 81 so it should be nickel and it is this is what I got out of the first box these are my finds so this 1940 San Francisco is that a black beauty that's been damaged or is that a just an environmentally damaged coin it's even worse on the other side Then I got a 41 Philly and a 41 Denver, a 46 Philly, two 47 Philadelphias, a 47 Denver, two 48 Phillies, two 48 Denvers, and a 49 Philadelphia. In the 50s, I got two 52 Phillies. A 52 Denver, a 54 Denver, a 58 Denver, and three 59 Denvers. There were two Canadian nickel nickels, two Canadian copper nickel nickels, and 104 I found out is made out of nickel plated steel. I found 109 and I found what I think is a lamination error and the 1960 bar error. I'm going to move right on to box two. Let's make sure these are circulated rolls. Yes, they are. You know the drill. I'm going to pull them out, check for enters. I'll be back when I have something. This is roll 52. They came up with a 1946 Philly. But I also, before this, came up with a 1956. Denver and a and a 1953 San Francisco which is on my need list this is the next roll 53 and they keep coming this one's a 1947 I haven't flipped it yet Is that a San Francisco? It is. Well, we'll take that. So I got another Canadian. This is 82, so the first year where they went to copper nickel. You can remember that by thinking of the American penny when they made the transition from copper to zinc. And another 1959 Denver roll 55 and I had that D staring up at me and that's a nice looking coin you know what I'm looking for looks a little older than a 50 though yeah 41 but nice shape Roll 56, and 1940, I haven't flipped it, we're hoping for a mint mark, nope, good shape though. This is box 62. And I came up with Another 1940, haven't flipped it yet. Yeah, 
Philly. Another one in good shape. I think I saw another one here. I need it. There it is. 1952. Can't see it. Looks like a Denver. So I have some roll. <clears throat> I have some finds that I had previously, and that's a 52 Philly and the 59 Denver. A 64, and you go, what's special about that? And I've never seen that before. I've seen states, I've seen presidents, I've seen Masonic symbols, but never just an L. All right, it's the next roll, 63. And early in the roll is a 46. I sure could use a San Francisco. Wah, 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 wah. This is roll 74. And we have a 1947 Philadelphia. We previously also had 15090, 2590, and 54 Denver. This is roll 78, and right here, I got another 46. I am looking for that San Francisco, Denver. Okay, keep looking. This is that same roll. And I saw the mint mark already. A 40 Philly. I am on roll 81. And I came up with a, another 1947. Haven't seen the mint mark yet. Got some schmoots on it. And it's a Philly. I thought I had one more to look at here. It's a nineteen fifty eight Denver. And one I had previously is a fifty six Denver. Eighty third roll. We have another forty six. Sure would like that S. Nope. Roll 95. And that's about as slick as they come. A 41 Philly. Also previously found 54 Denver, 58 Denver, and surprise, a 59 Denver. Three rolls left, and I got another 1941. Philadelphia, and a Canadian I didn't show last time. This is the last roll, 
And a little parting gift here, a 49 Philly. Also previously I got a 54 Denver and another Canadian, an 82 Copper Nickel. So I'll finish up this little bit here. That's all of my checks for DDRs and DDOs and such. And then I'll be back with a wrap up of box two. These are the finds from box two. <clears throat> there are three 1940 Philadelphias, two 41 Philadelphias, one 41 Denver, two 46 Phillies, a 46 Denver, two 47 Phillies, a 47 San Francisco, and a 49 Philly. For the 50s, I had 152 Philly, 152 Denver, 153 San Francisco that I need, 254 Denvers, a 54 San Francisco. I don't remember seeing that one before, but it it is a San Francisco. There's that S. Two fifty six Denvers, two fifty eight Denvers, and five fifty nine Denvers. Also got three more Canadians, all of them copper nickel. We got one oh nine, and I have that L punched. That's like an, a love token, kind of small, a lucky token. Again, it's very understated. Um, and then a couple of airs. So I have this 20 Philly on the scope here. And the air is going, going to be above the doorway there, right? here and the one we clearly have is the uh, DDR003 also on the scope I got another bar air this would be a single bar E so let's look at that one so 1960 Denver one bar over the E, and there are a lot of them, there's 17 of them, so let me look closer and see which one I think it is. So I think the closest one is this uh, bar 004, it fills out the best out of them. All right, the two box recap here. I got 26 in the 40s. That's that top row. 12 different. The next row I have 22 in the 50s. Only 8 different ones. The Canadians all right in here. There are 8 of them. Only the 72 here is nickel. These are copper nickel and that's steel. My airs and varieties. I got two 1960D bar airs. I have the 1920 Philadelphia DDR. I have a lamination air. I have the uh, punched L over the dome. And I have 209s. So, not a bad box. I will mention this is now eight boxes in a row with no buffaloes and no silvers. I hope to break that in box 10. I hope you join me for that. Until then, Matt Man's out. If you're getting any value at all out of this, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. And hit that notification bell. Thank you very much.